I'm Janvi Pavar, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you all are new here, then welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, as you all have seen the title, today we're going to be talking about how you all can improve your vocabulary because vocabulary plays a big role and another thing that vocabulary does well, it plays a big role in any language. Now, of course, knowing a language is important and especially when you're learning a language. So all you need is new words. So all day we encounter with new words, especially when we are trying to talk in English or, you know, when we are learning any new language. So what we try to do is first thing is when we start listening anything and then we are like, yeah, I don't understand this word. It's pretty new. Then we start reading anything. Then you're like, yeah, I don't understand this either. It's too difficult. Then you start writing something and then you're like, what word am I supposed to write now? Then you're speaking and then you forget all of your words. So that is like a process of forgetting words and learning new words. Now, the problem with us people is, is that when we start learning vocabulary, we pick up a dictionary or we pick up like a book of new words and we start cramming those words. That is like the biggest problem. Y'all don't have to cram all of the words. No, please stop cramming words because that, if that is the method you're opting for, it's pretty, I'm 100% sure you all are going to forget everything that you've learned. So please never cram anything. The thing is, is that you have to cram stuff at the initial stage. I'm not contradicting my statements. You have to listen to me first. So at the initial stage, what you all got to do, you have to cram. But on the second stage, which is like your next stage, you have to practice, revise, it's like a whole process. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna make it a simple and sweet process for y'all so that you, you don't have any problem learning any new words. Now, what I want you people to do is I want you to build a reading habit. And I don't know how much I can stress this, but I think in every video of mine, like in every second video of mine, I always say this, is that please build a reading habit because building a reading habit you're gonna encounter with new words the secret to learn new vocabulary and to learn new words is to encounter those words on your daily basis the reason you are speaking this language pretty confidently like Hindi probably because you know you are you have become familiar with all of the words you're listening to those words you're reading those words and you are writing those words that's what you're doing and that's why you are so familiar with all of the words so same goes for english if you have to new, learn new vocabulary you have to encounter with those words so i know what your next question is what are we supposed to read what are you supposed to read you're supposed to read newspaper now you have to take your time out of the day and you have to read like 40 minutes. I'm not saying 10 minutes. I'm not saying 20 minutes. I'm saying 40 minutes, but you do not have to do it in one go if that is too much for you. You can do it in pieces. Like in the morning, you can study for like 15 minutes. Then in the afternoon, when you get time, you can study for another 10 minutes. Then in the evening, you can study for like 15 minutes. That's what you have to do. So you have to read a newspaper. After reading a newspaper, what you're going to do, any new word that you're going to find, you're going to underline those words. After underlining those words, now there is one more problem with us is, is that we underline every single word. You don't have to underline every word you don't understand. Please do not do that. Otherwise, it's going to take you a week to go all through the new words. So please do not underline every word that you don't understand. I know what you people are thinking, but we do not understand it. How can we not underline it? Let me tell you how. When you encounter a new word, first, I want you to do is I want you to read the whole sentence and the sentence after that, because that is going to give you a context of the whole sentence and the context in which the word is used. Then guess the meaning by yourself. So after you have guessed the meaning by yourself, you can already see by looking at the context, you're like, yeah, this may be the meaning of the word. So never ever think like, okay, this is a new word. And you know, there you go, done. Please do not do that. No, don't write every single word and don't underline every single word. First of all, read the whole sentence, look at the context and try to guess the meaning by yourself. Still, if it seems difficult, then underline it and write it down in your diary or your notebook. The next step is you're going to go on your Google or your dictionary, of course, then you're going to find out the meaning of the words and write down the meaning of all of those words. Now comes the next part. You've crammed every word. Now I want you to underline or write like 15 to 20 words, not more than that, because that can be a little bit too much of work for many people, but it's all about your brain. If you think it's too much work, it's too much work. If you think it's nothing at all, it's nothing at all. So it's all about your brain, all right? So what I want you to do, I want you to write down like 15 to 20 words on the... 
you're gonna use them in sentences and after using them in sentences you're gonna practice them over and over again now comes the second day so on the second day you're gonna practice new words and the words that you learned on the previous day now comes the third day on the third day you're gonna learn the new words and practice the words that you learned on second day and first day after a whole package of like three days you're gonna like write a monologue or write an article like take 10 minutes out of your day and write an article with all of the words that you learned in three days well not all of the but the main words that you remember so write an article with all of those words that's what i want you to do you're done with three days and then start the cycle again so basically then again it's your first day again underline words search out their meaning use them in sentences practice them again the second day practice first and second days words third day practice one two three days words and then after three days revise them again so now there is a pattern like when you're reading newspaper every writer has a pattern so after 15 to 20 days of this cycle you're gonna see is that the pattern is being repeated the words are being repeated there are not too many words it's not too complicated nothing is ever too complicated so please stop making it too complicated only thing you can do is is that the pattern is gonna be repeated you just have to give it a little time of like 20 days that's not too much guys only 20 days and you're gonna see the words are being repeated now after the three day cycle done three day cycle done three day cycle done now when you are done with like 20 days now what I want you to do is is that after 20 days I want you to revise the words that you learned on the first day again so basically, take out like the day of Sunday when you can give like one R and then practice all of the words. Like write an article, whatever word you remember, write an article on that. So basically like every week or every 15 days or every 20 days, you have to pick out a day when you can practice all of the words that you've been learning. And in like three months, you're gonna be perfect as well, perfect is perfect. I cannot use the word H-E-L-L right now, but I still did. So you're going to be perfect. So that's what you need. Only 20 days for the newspaper, for the new words, and for practice, only three months. You're not going to need anything else. You just have to give like 40 minutes a day for three months. That's what you have to do. And that is literally it. You're never going to have to cram words again because your vocabulary would already be perfect. But the one thing that you people have to remember is, is you have to use those words while you're talking. Because if you're not going to use those words, you're not going to become familiar with those words. So that's why I'm asking you people to revise and to practice over and over so that they're going to be stuck on your tongue. That's what I want you to do. And that is the trick. There is nothing more than that. You do not have to cram anything. You do not have to cram like every third day. No, you just have to, you know, do this cycle and there you go. So this is the cycle of learning new words. And this is something that I followed when I was little. So, you know, I had to learn a lot of new words at that time. I was like, I'm going to learn like 50,000 words. So, yeah, this is what I did. So this is what you all have to do. All right, y'all. Thank you so, so much. I love talking with y'all and I hope you people loved me speaking so if you people want to connect with me y'all can follow me on my socials the links are in the description box below and if you want to join like my IELTS course or my British and American accent course then the links are in the description box below make sure you go and check those out and I'm gonna see you in the next video stay safe bye